Hello everyone, for this chapter, um, chapter 15, we're going to cover in the Django filters, which is another package that we will use. Um, so we need to install the package first. So we're doing this so that we can add this to the all listings page and then we can search for a particular listing, uh, giving some, we can give it, uh, you know, some fields like uh, the condition or like the price and then, uh, and then we can just filter accordingly. So first things first, uh, let's just install. So let's use uh, pip install and let's install the Django filter. Exactly how you see it on the right. All right, successfully installed. And then we need to add this to, to the settings.py to the installed app section. So go here and then when you add it here, you have to add it in a different way. So with the, the, uh, with the underscore and then filters and when you install it, it's Django uh, dash filter. So now we're going back to the listings uh, directory and let's create a new file called filters.py. Once we do that, let's add the following. So open that file and let's just import the package that we just created. Filters and then the model that we want to filter through or search through I guess. In this case it's the listings model and this is how you create the the filter so class listing oh wow so the model is listings and then the fields that we want to have so the users can search is condition city and state you can use any fields that the you know that the model has but in this case I'm just going to stick to the ones in the book just to make it more easy but you can try on your own other other fields or maybe just delete these and just have two of them uh, whatever you want it's fine so let's save the file listing filter yes so let's open views.py in the listings folder and we need to import the list the, the filter first so from the filters import listing filter okay and then we go to to the old listings because that's where we're gonna add the filter I mean that's in yeah to the in that view is where we're gonna add the filter in that page so this this the the variable all listings stays the same here and now we create a new variable called my filter just like this and then we'll just use the the listing filter that we created request dot get and we're using request dot get because we're uh so we're so we're asking to to filter right so we're not submitting data so we're asking to filter so it's a get request because we're asking for for data here and then we create a new variable called query set which is going to hold the the data that we're filtering through okay so that's that and then all listings so my filter that qs which is uh this is the way that you access the you know the filtered objects QS and then we have to pass this as well if we want to use it in the template so let's do that my filter and yeah that's it for the for the listing space here so once again let's just uh, review what we did so we kept the all listings variable the way it is and then create a new variable called my listings which is uh, yeah and then we use the filter that we created and it's and we're using request.get because we want to pass so we're passing the request uh, made by the users right and it's a get request so users are not submitting data it's not a post request and then query set is going to hold the all listings now which is the the, ver the data that we want to search through and the way to access those uh, filter uh, search yeah filter objects uh, we use that QS here and then we have to pass the new variable that we have here which is my filter 
and yeah that's pretty much so that's it for this one and then we go to the template and now we we need to implement the filter in the t in the template the all listings template so open all listings at html and this is what we're gonna add so this div from here to here i wish i could select it but uh, i can't so let me just copy paste and then i'll explain again okay so from here we just make some space and since it's a form, the filter is a form, so we use form group. It's a, we're using a card, and then the form method it's a get. Because we're asking the server for data, so condition. So that's one of the fields that we're using to search uh, state city. And this is uh, since we passed my filter. Remember the variable. So if we go back to to views of py, let me just close up a bunch of things that I have here. Yeah, so we passed my filter. So now we can use it in the all listings template. My filter, the form, because it's a form, that condition. So give me the the condition, state, and the city. So search by that, by those using those. Uh, yeah, and then we have the submit button, which is just submits so that we can make the request. And I think that's set. I don't think we make more changes here. Yeah, I think that's that's it for this. And there is an explanation here. Again, the filter acts as a form, and that's uh, it's a get request. I mentioned that, and this is how you access like the fields. My filter that form that whatever the field that you want to access. So now let's just uh, run server, and now we should be able to use the the filter. So go go to listings. So we have the. Yeah, this is our search uh, form, I guess, and you can search by condition, you can search by state or by whatever you want to search by. So all the fields that we passed, of course. So used, used. So like if I do the, I only have used, so it's not gonna work for this one. But uh, uh, let's check a state, right? So C C A uh, state C A, right? So then I should get only this listing. As you can see, I can't scroll down. So it's just this listing. And if you want, I want all the listings. Well, it's you search again all the listings. That's a new work, right? So the other, the other listing should come up, come up first. As you can see, it's here. I changed the picture, by the way. And yeah, so you can search by this. Um, let's pick a, well. You already saw this one. So if you have more listings, you can uh, practice doing this. In my case, I only have two listings, so I'm limited to doing just those two. But uh, but you can uh, test it on your own and make sure that it works. And let's see. Yeah, so this was the last feature that we will add to the website before I actually start styling the website. The, the purpose of this course in general is to you know, take someone who doesn't know Django, learn how to build websites from beginning to end, and deploy the website on Heroku, and using a bunch of other technologies. So I know there's uh, many things that could be corrected. We can validate, you know, all the forms that we have. We can uh, we can do many things, but we just want to get the functionality right. We want to style it, and then we just want to deploy it. So we just want I just want to show you like the process from beginning to end. In future applications that I build, uh, we can, you know, spend more time doing other things and adding whatever you guys want me to add. But for this one, we're just going to keep it really simple. And after this, we're just going to start styling. So we've we've gotten all the all the features that we wanted and the functionality of the website is is enough for now. So you can see the quiz here. And then the answer sheet, quiz and challenge. And then for the next chapter, we'll start uh, styling the website using Bootstrap. Thank you.